At my age, when I walk around China and I tell people that I'm not married and I don't have any children, people often say to me, What? Why not? What happened? What's wrong with you? As if there's something wrong with me, you know? It kind of blows my mind a little bit, but there's still such a heavy cultural uh, influence on marriage and family here that someone who has chosen not to get married and not to have children is kind of looked down upon in many, many parts of society. And this is not just a China thing. This is throughout the world. After I explain it to people, they, they get it. They understand my decision. Or at least they tell me they do, and they might go you know, say some nasty stuff behind my back. <laughs> but uh, it's true. It's, it's very out in the open, and people will give you a lot of flack if you say that you don't want to get married and you don't want children. Well, this famous Chinese dancer has some words for those people. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rohu Reads the News. I'm your host, Paul. I have a very interesting story here. It comes from uh, Jia Yun Feng of Panda Guides. Yang Li Ping shuts down haters criticizing her child-free life. Now, I have heard of um, Yang Li Ping in the past. I've never seen her performances, but uh, she's a very famous person here in China and I think around the world too. Chinese dancer and choreographer Yang Li Ping is an internationally acclaimed artist best known in China as the Peacock Princess for her contemporary dance productions that draw heavily on her traditional culture as a member of the Bai ethnic group. I think the, the Bai ethnic group, they're from northern Yunnan province. If I'm, I haven't been there, but I've looked into it and I'm, it's a place that I really, really want to go. Hopefully soon. Young is now 61 years old and still active. She has performances scheduled for December in California. Despite Young's long list of accomplishments, some Chinese internet users say she has failed as a woman because she is unmarried and childless. The critics were responding to a since-deleted video she posted on June 6th to Douyin, TikTok's Chinese sister app. I think that's a misnomer. It's more like, it's more like TikTok is the cousin of Douyin. The video had nothing to do with motherhood or marriage. It simply showed Young sitting alone eating hot pot. One person responded, A woman's biggest failure is having no children. You are lying to yourself if you feel good about just living for yourself. No matter how pretty and fulfilled you are at this moment, you will age eventually. When you reach 90, you won't be able to experience the joy of having a full room of children and grandchildren. Mm, I have heard this so many times. People actually say that I am selfish for deciding to not have children, which I don't understand. I, I really don't. And if you ask me whether or not I like waking up alone every morning, the truth is, I love it. I love it. The misogynist comment somehow struck a chord with some internet users. In the course of two days, the comment received more than 11,000 likes on Douyin. Doyin is just huge, man. <laughs> Young didn't respond to the comment immediately, but a large number of people fired back on Young's behalf on various social media platforms, slamming the antiquated notion that motherhood equals happiness for a successful woman. People who choose to be single and child-free don't owe anyone an explanation. They just want to live their life that way, a Weibo user wrote. Some people also pointed out that the criticism faced by Young reveals a deep-seated bias against women without children, as many Chinese people still think that the decision to forego parenthood is not only abnormal but also morally wrong for a woman. Women have full control over their reproductive choices. It shouldn't be a moral imperative for women to have babies, a Weibo user commented. A string of female celebrities have also joined the chorus of support for Young. In a Weibo post, actress Lee Rutong says that as an unmarried adult, she faces similar comments on social media every single day. Regardless of gender, if you are reading this post, I hope you won't feel rushed to make any life-changing decisions only because of your age or what other people think. Actress Chen Shu took to Weibo to share a screenshot of a TV show she worked on, in which her character asks, does a woman's value rely on motherhood? In the caption, Chen answered, no. Before the controversy, Young had addressed questions about her plans for marriage and children on multiple occasions. In 2012, in response to speculation that she had to lead a single and child-free lifestyle because of her career, Young explained, in an, Young explained in an interview that her decision had nothing to do with her profession. The purpose of some people's life is to procreate. Some are here to enjoy. Some are here to experience. Some are here to observe. 
I'm an observer of other people's lives, she said. Here, here. Here, here. Good for her. In 2017, she told a journalist that when she was in her 20s, she realized she didn't need marriage. Today, Young deleted the video that inspired the offensive comments. Before deleting the video, she responded to her critics with grace, as she always does. Aging and death is inevitable for everyone, but you will radiate a unique charm if your spirit is young and your personality is pleasant. You are good as long as you live a satisfying life and you do no harm to others. Thanks for all the understanding and love. I hope we can all be free and stay true to ourselves. Young Leaping. This is from SupChina.com. So what do you think about this? I continue to get a lot of flack for this. Now I have a very understanding family and my close friends are very understanding. But others really, you know, get in your face about it. I experience it quite often. What do you think about this? Comment below. Let me know.